So this is uh, Subsonic's JSX2T. So it's the two seat version of our uh, single seat Subsonic's personal jet. People have been telling us for years, I gotta have another seat. And of course we need a trainer, not just for Subsonics, but for people with BD5Js and anything else that might come along uh, using this new generation of small turbines. You know, how cool would it be to have the absolute least expensive jet trainer that's ever been built anywhere else in the world ever before and by a lot. This is an airplane you can build for under $155,000 including the engine, including the kit, avionics, everything. So right now we're taking what we call kit reservation deposits. It's kind of like pre-orders, if you will, to get people in line. And we've got several deposits already. Obviously, you can tell the prototype is not quite finished yet. Hoping to get it flying before the snow flies here in Oshkosh. Flight testing will take up, I'm sure, most of the first and second quarter of 2023. When we get to the point in flight tests that we feel the configuration can be locked, we can start kit production. That's when we'll be taking those current initial deposit holders and asking them to formalize their orders and they'll be the first people to get kits and I'm hoping that those can go out sometime in the third or fourth quarter of next year. It's a 1,500 pound gross weight airplane. Empty weight right now, as best we can estimate, is looking at like about 620 pounds with uh, 50 gallons of usable Jet A. So this airplane is going to have quite a bit of useful load. Now, of course, the fuel is behind the pilots because it's a pusher, just like an ultralight or something like that with an engine in the back. And so we, we need to keep the fuel on the CG, just like the single place airplane. So we kept some room in there so that people who've been asking for some baggage can have a little more space for baggage. For those that want a BRS system, it can be installed. And if people want even more range, there is enough room in there to plumb in an aux tank as well, or a smoke oil tank. And it's, of course, a side-by-side -side seating configuration for the best training environment, also the best CG setup. You'll be able to have two larger occupants in the airplane than you would be able to do in a tandem situation when you have such a small airplane and such a lightweight engine. The speed will be a bit slower. It is using the same engine, the, the 260 pound thrust PBS TJ100 uh, E3S model. Wing loading is very similar. Takeoff and climb ought to be similar. Cruise will be slower though. It'll cruise at about 200 miles an hour, but it does have more fuel. So we'll get probably about 50 miles more in terms of range than we do with the single seat jet, which is uh, currently you know, not factoring in winds, about 300 statute miles plus a 30 minute reserve. So we're estimating the two seater to be 350 miles plus reserve. We're also in development of our new high wing design, which we will have at Air Venture next year. In 2023, we'll have a prototype here. And there's been a lot of excitement around that airplane. Um, and it's going to be uh, not a bush plane. It'll be a cantilevered wing aircraft that looks very much like a Sonics and almost kind of like a metalized tailwind. It will be aerobatic, just like the rest of our airplanes. We want a high wing aircraft that's fast, aerobatic, and still is at its core a Sonics. Definitely can be used off of grass strips, just like our airplanes can be currently. Um, but we, we want it to be fill a niche that isn't currently being filled in terms of a high wing that is uh, has some performance to it. Mm -hmm.